Hey guys, my name is Tubby Peach, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make YouTube banners. And of course, it is going to start making it mandatory on making these banners because it's going to be mandatory. You know, YouTube is trying to change the look. And some people still have the normal ones, right? And this is going to be a tutorial on a Windows 8 or any Windows or whatever you have computer. So first, we're going to go to Pixlr.com. And it is P-I-X-L-R.com. And when you press space, you have to go to Pixlr Express because you want to make this fast. So when you once you get to Pixlr Express, you have an option to browse, surf the internet for a picture, take a picture, um I think take this from a website or from your phone. I'm going to go to browse because I already have one ready that I want to start editing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to pictures, open and then look for a picture that I like. And that shall be a normal pick so I can restart and show you how to do it. And first what you do is when you're on YouTube, you click this pencil in the top right corner of the banner and click edit channel art. Once you're done to once you're down to that point, you can oh, go to upload photos and take this measurement right here sorry about the ultra this measurement right here for your sizing of the picture and of course because YouTube decided to make these banners you can't take your whole picture picture let me show you an example let's take this and I'll show you what what I mean by it as in like it won't take your whole picture so I'll adjust your crop and of course you can adjust it to where you want to place it but it will not but the banners will not take the whole picture no matter what you do you can uh download uh you can download banners and have the whole picture as the banner but then you just won't have the creativity of making your own like mine or differently whatever you choose so I believe I forgot to take those measurements down so give me a quick second I'm trying to make this fast and the measurements are 2560 by 1440 so then what you go is when you're on Pixel Express back on the page you click adjustments and then you click resize to resize the photo so what I'm going to do is 2560. Oh, and as you can tell, this changes when I put a number in. And I don't like that. What you do in order to take that off is it says keep proportions. You have to turn that off so it won't keep, so it won't make it even for you. So you can actually download it onto YouTube. So 2560, so there. And I'm going to apply. And then you're going to have to zoom out all the way to start editing. And then what you can do is go to effects. You can go to creative right here by clicking and dragging across your screen or using the arrows to choose what you want. I will show you every single one. And you just click cancel to exit out of it. You go to default. You can choose to add any of these on your screen and there are a lot and what I kinda like is they have names to them not like pix picture one five two zero nine or anything like that. I don't know if that's real. They have like Tony, Tom, S Sophia, Sarah, Samantha, Solomon sorry for pronounce that wrong. Romy and Peter, Melissa and so on and so forth. Julia, and if you see your name in here and you kind of like it because it has your name, you can click it or something, you know? And that looks kind of cool, I guess. But I'm not going to edit anything onto this. And what we got is we got soft, so I'm kind of speed running through this. 
So we got soft as in like neon popping out. And what we also got here is we got subtitle. And basically it's just one page of extra effects for your... You can also have effects here too. But are pretty nice, but subtitle is an effect since you are here. You got old town. Oh, too old, sorry. And then we also got a unicolor. And these are pretty cool, I have to admit. I'll take Ryan. Ryan looks cool. I'll apply that. And we also got vintage. Vintage as in like the old style stuff. And when you edit your photo, when you edit your photo and every picture that you go on, it has to edit it. So if I go back, if I go undo, redo, sorry, cancel. If I go right there, it, uh, uh, what would I do? Sorry. And we go to vintage. As you can see, it takes back. And it's pretty cool because it also shows your picture so you can see the effect with the effects that are already current on your picture that you placed. It's pretty nice. So let's get out of effect and go to overlay. And let me show you what overlay is. It's basically extra effects to your poster or border or picture. So let's go extra poster and basically let's do disco. And I haven't really explained what this is. Amount. It's if you want it none or faded in there or lots or all the way. The whole picture. Do whatever you want. And if let's go to smoke here. It doesn't really show your picture, just shows the smoke. That's what that's what kind of a uh, is a little bothering for overlay. But if you go to effects, you can definitely see your current thing on there, what your placement is. So enough with overlay and border since you've seen it. I mean uh, effect and border, board uh, effect and overlay. Sorry, border is basically a border around. So you can have ink, which is like this. Or none, I'll put it on. And then you could also have white ripped paper. And that's pretty cool, right? Like you can decide to have it face or none. And it's pretty cool like that. And here's another thing that I really like about Pixar myself. It's stickers. As in you can add stickers onto it. It's pretty cool. So if I do this, and then you can resize it to fit it or something. And then you could change the color of it with that. And it's kind of cool. But I'm not gonna do that right now. And you can just do summer. I'm gonna put like a guess whatever. Let's just do that and whatever. And now here goes to text. And what they got is they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different kinds. And within the seven different kinds, if you get dotted, you have different. If you go to font, you got different kinds of dotted here. Different kinds of dots and different kinds of everything. You can put it in the middle, you can put it there. But you see, let's see, it's T U B B Y Peach. And if we let's say black so you can actually see it, you can. I like Night X, that's just what I like. And what you can do is you can put it there, there, there. And it doesn't matter because you can move it around. So. Either way, if you were just typing like a word, sentence, or whatever, then you would definitely use these down here. Uh, but if you're just editing it and you're just putting it for a nice picture, then you wouldn't need to use those. So I'll apply that. And basically that's it. And also what you can do in adjustments is you can airbrush, you can crop, you can liquefy. Liquefy, I've never... is basically like pops out your, your thing. So as you can see what I'm doing, pops it out. And you can reset it to like do it, you can shrink it, you can like shrink in, shrink it inside there, maybe look into the eyes, you can enlarge, you can instant thin, which is really cool, that kind of thing. Anyways, I kind of like it. Um, anyways, I'm kind of running out of time here. You got color splash, you got, you, you guys can test whatever you want with these. And also, if you don't like what you did, you can just click on the top right corner. It says undo, and you can undo everything you did back to normal. Anyways, that's it, guys, for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed, and leave a like. I also, um, basically, you just upload your photos from uh, here, and you pick it, and you upload it, and that's it. And you can also, the photos that you've uploaded can also stay that you've uploaded. So, that's it. That's all from me. My name is Toby Peach, and I guess, join me next time in another tutorial. Like and favorite if you enjoyed too. So, see you guys.